Bubble Beep. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. It is Sunday, November 28th, 2021, currently 3.39 p.m. Mountain Time. This report is also featured every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern during Space Force News. You can find on YouTube at One Foot in 5D. There were a few articles that I wrote for free on my Instagram profile this last week, including missing data from the solar flare activity on the 24th into the 25th. That was suspicious. I later then posted that I found this CME ejections that could have matched during that missing data. So there was the missing CME. And then during what the Americans knew as Thanksgiving, there was this very large CME ejection on the 25th. Then we had an, a, a warning basically come out that there was a spike in solar wind here from the 27th into the 28th, with that, which I have evidence for in this chart was predicted was when the plasma density was going to go up. You can see here with the number 27. Strangely enough though here on the 24th and the 25th where the data was missing from that CME there seems to be nothing here either but impacts from these events could be delayed and this is when they have been coming in. So the solar wind did spike yesterday. This could exactly have been when those CMEs from the 24th and 25th actually landed here and basically impacted our planet and changed our electromagnetic field of Earth, which is important. So here, here is some more evidence from the 25th, the Thanksgiving, where there was a electromagnetic storm over Italy, which was interesting. And overall, just looking at these CMEs all the time, I'm sharing them online all the time. I'd really appreciate it if you have been following along, especially those of you from Space Force News, if you would participate in supporting my actual research in bringing this consciously to new faces, to the younger minds. You can follow my Patreon and pledge even just a dollar just to support me, but I will, of course, course take more and with that support I am creating free content online for people who that's being ingested by the hundreds and the thousands about this information teaching people about what coronal mass ejections are when there is missing data that is waking a lot of people up when data is missing it wakes a lot of people up ironically but also when data is fascinating and there's so much going on and so much opportunity to educate about solar science and bring that back into our world. Final note, there is a lot of earthquakes showing up around the world. Ironically, I refreshed this page from the last time I did a report and this looks almost identical as it did the last time. I keep refreshing the page, I'm pretty sure this is accurate, but we are seeing earthquakes around the world being registered on these seismographs, which is not surprising to me now that we saw that this predicted wave sort of, excuse me, impacted us on the 27th. It's currently to the 28th. We're still in some type of storm. And yeah, the earth is shaking. There's a little bit of lightning, but not too bad. And it looks like Hawaii is also a big part of what's shaken up, but looks like also Russia. So shout out to everybody out there. Hope you're doing well. Hope your holidays are turning out to be fantastic. Tomorrow is predicted to be quite the day on the planetary sphere. If I do say so myself and I can put my two cents in, I'm wishing you all a great night and please don't be a stranger. I'd love to have your support on my projects. See you around.